Next, we will discuss the improper integrals that have many applications in adjacent fields such as probability and statistics. In probability and statistics, f of x is called the probability density function of a random variable x if the probability of x to be between any values a and b can be expressed and computed as the integral of the function f of x on the interval between a and b. For example, let x be a time in years between major earthquakes in California with the following exponential probability density function. The probability that the time between two major earthquakes is between 90 and 140 years can therefore be written as the following expression and computed as the following definite integral with the lower limit 90 and the upper limit 140 of the probability density function. Similarly, the probability that the time between two major earthquakes is less than 100 years can be expressed in the following way and computed as the following definite integral with the lower limit 0 and the upper limit 100. Therefore, the probability that the time between two major earthquakes is more than 100 years can be expressed in the following way and set up as the following definite integral with the lower limit 100 and the upper limit infinity. While symbolically this expression makes sense, numerically we have a problem because infinity is not a number. The following fact provides the light at the end of the tunnel. Using the complementary rule, we know that the integral must be equal to 37%. So the goal is to develop mathematical tools to treat the integrals such as this one. The integrals with an infinity in the lower or upper or both limits are called the improper integrals of type 1. To understand other possible issues that may arise when integrating a function, let's recall rational functions. Previously, we learned how to find indefinite integrals for any rational function. It appears that with the fundamental theorem of calculus, we automatically know how to find any definite integral of any rational function. However, for certain intervals, we have a problem. What's the problem? The problem is that a rational function is not defined at all values of the domain of integration and may have an asymptotic discontinuity. But all the theory that we have developed so far is under assumption that a given function is continuous. So the new goal is to develop mathematical tools to treat the integrals such as this one. The integrals of functions that have a discontinuity on the interval of integration are called the improper integrals of type 2. We introduce two types of problems called type 1 and type 2 improper integrals.